Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Bed with Behini podcast. I am your host, Akosia Behini. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, thank you so much for always coming by. I'm testing out a new microphone, so comment below. Even before we get into the video, comment below, let me know if the sound is okay. If you guys like it, let me know. Um, but yeah, you're welcome. I mean, as always, we have my baby downstairs and she seems to be playing a lot today. She's not sleeping, she's not napping, nothing. no, she's active. And as per usual, she will be in the background, sounds and everything. So if you guys hear that, that is just my child. So in today's video, as per the title, I'm gonna be talking about growth okay i feel like i should just say growth because growth is brought on and i'm gonna be talking about a bunch of things under growth um but this is just basically my experience with growth and how i have allowed myself to grow you know so let's get into the, the podcast for today the whole podcast is not gonna have like a whole intro you know it's not gonna have like a strict intro but i like to like welcome you guys every time so let's get in this sort of hit me a few days ago um with me just thinking about my journey so far and you know how i have changed and i think also low-key i was looking at a photo on my snapchat let me just be honest i was looking at my photos on snapchat and you know snapchat has a thing where it keeps like your memories from years ago and then when you look at that and then you look at you now you're like wow <laughs> wow okay now even before i like say anything i want to say that growth i know that is something that is hard let's just take that out of the way growth is hard okay and when i say growth i don't mean age because age is literally just a number and when people say age is just a number age is legit just a number now growth for me um the reason why i'm saying this is because i had my first baby when i was 23 so i'm just gonna get into it okay let's just get into it and just two days ago or three days ago i was thinking to myself and it's not even just two days ago as of late let me just say that <laughs> i feel like i'm still finding my words but let me just say that social media has made you know has made it um has made it easy for us to see a lot more younger people achieve bigger things for themselves and i'm saying this as a millennial who was born in 95 i'm turning 28 this year and if you live in america or if you i don't know but i feel like in africa or in ghana specifically in ghana where i grew up if you're 28 you're still kind of very young you know you're seen as like a very young person but in america if you're 28 you're seen as a grown woman and if you grown woman in the sense that you can take care of yourself rent your own house pay your own bills and it's just right now that ghana is like opening i feel like ghana parents or Ghanaian parents um, are opening up to like allowing their kids to live outside of home if it's not school or to just like rent their own space because that was never a thing and if you can relate comment below that was never a thing as a woman tradition requires you to stay with your parents till a man marries you out of your parents home and that has always been a tradition in Africa but as of late you know people and parents are opening up to much more flexible parenting where you know i'm just going to trust and let you go into the world and make certain decisions for yourself as a person and i like how that is going but unfortunately unfortunately for me i didn't grow up in that generation so no like i grew up in a generation where you had to be at home and you know they take you out of the house you know that kind of vibe so i'm just saying that to say that i had my baby when i was 23 okay i had my baby when i was 23 years old my first baby i mean and she's almost five right now and once you have kids and i said that in the last episode one once i had my kid i stopped doing everything just to be a mom and now looking back i feel like i shouldn't have stopped everything i should i shouldn't have put myself in that mindset of thinking that motherhood is only just motherhood or when you get into that phase of motherhood that's it you just have to be a mom and i hate that i'm only realizing five years later that no 
you can do so much more even as a mom and i don't want to go off tangents i mean for the topic that i have for today but that is just to say that even though i had two kids and you know even though i went through the phase of stopping everything and i feel like i went through a phase where i didn't allow myself to grow um, as a person but i only allowed myself to be a mom and you know that definitely stunted my growth as a person i mean i'm a beautiful mom i i feel like i'm excelling in that area but like the growth that i was supposed to get as a person and i'm only and i feel like i'm realizing that because you know a lot of young people and young women on social media right now are doing so much for themselves and achieving so much at such a young age and i look at it and it's so beautiful to me that's even the angle that i'm coming from like i look at it and i'm like oh i could have done so much with with my life in the sense that like I could have done so much even though I had a child you know like I shouldn't have stopped chasing my dreams because you know I, I felt like motherhood was a handicap and if you're a young person I, I feel like I this is a message to you don't let don't let motherhood make you feel like you're handicapped no still chase your dreams because you regret it when the kids are growing and you're not chasing you didn't chase your dreams and you, you are now like having to push to chase that dream and I'm happy that um, I mean, I'm 28, but I'm so obviously very young enough to chase whatever dream I have. And I'm very happy and grateful for even that light bulb moment. Um, but, you know, growth is something that I had had to, I have had to allow myself to go through. And I want to get into a few things. I mean, I feel like I want to talk about a few things that, you know, has helped me on my journey of growth because I have grown tremendously and anybody who knows me from years ago would definitely attest to the fact that that I have become a whole different woman okay I mean not like a whole different person no I feel like the vision is always the same or was always the same I saw myself becoming this kind of woman but then also I had a very different lifestyle before now let me go a few years back when I was like 21 or like 20 21 22 before, right before I had my baby girl I was chilling I was out in the streets oh my goodness I love you a good fan okay like my big brother and I would go out every Friday evening I was working in the media space when I was back home um, I had a radio program I had a Snapchat radio called Erotica 101. Those of you who would remember or remember, comment below, let me know. Oh my goodness, it feels so nostalgic thinking about it. But I had a Snapchat radio where I called it Erotica 101, um, where I wanted to just have a platform that was open enough to educate young women on like just you know feminine hygiene sex and everything like that because I felt like our community back home wasn't open enough or wasn't open for conversations like that the open-mindedness wasn't there at the time so I made myself the figure to do that you know and then I was doing a show on an internet radio and then yidi yada and it's just crazy to think about all of that and that's what I was saying I was looking at my photos back on snapchat and then I was thinking to myself that you know I have always been that girl that wanted to do this thing that I'm doing today you know to chase my dreams and to do that but then I put it on hold to be a mom but then after a while I thought to myself that you have to allow yourself to grow and I feel like I keep saying allow yourself to grow allow yourself to grow because growth is really something that you have to allow yourself to go through and if I'm going to say any first point on how I have you know how, how I have grown throughout the period it's that I allowed myself to grow through every step in my life I allowed myself to go through and then grow through you know like growth is something that is hard in the sense that you can be growing in age but you may not be actually growing <laughs> you are not maturing the senses are not there and it's not even like an insult because it's the reality of life with the way the world is going right now if you're not allowing yourself to grow as a person if you're not working on yourself if you're not educating yourself you're not reading you're not researching you're not like you know opening up to the good network of people 
you're technically going to be lost. You're not going to grow. You, you won't know where the world is going and you're just going you to know, be there. Um, you know, I just want to say that like growth is something that is hard, especially, you know, when you get to a certain stage in your life where you don't have your parents looking over you and then now you have to take care of everything. You have to literally allow yourself to go through certain things and then grow through them. You know, you have to tell yourself um, to be disciplined in certain areas and nobody is going to be there to tell you this. You have to tell yourself that. And that's growth can be painful, but then also it can be, you know, you can get so much out of it. It's not like you can. You're going to get so much out of it if you allow yourself to grow as a person. You and, know, um, I just want to say that as a young woman, as a young woman, when I was growing up, again, like I was saying, I had interest in so many things, you know, so many things, so many activities and um Right now, I find that I don't have interest in all those things again. And that's just because I have grown. And I'm saying this to say that I have a lot of people around my age who obviously are still very immature. And I, I guess it's hard for me to say that, but it's the truth. Um, and I guess everybody is still trying to mature, but then you see the level of maturity when you see people. That's just all I want to say. Like, nobody is, like, perfectly mature. Nobody is perfectly, you know, nobody is ever perfect. But we're all still trying to grow. But then when you see people, you obviously see that the level of maturity is different. And that's what I'm talking about. You should allow yourself to grow so that you can be at the level of maturity that allows you to attract certain things or certain blessings that you're supposed to attract um that you're supposed to attract within that time in your life and really if you're not uh, i feel like if you're not allowing yourself to grow the things that are supposed to find you will not find you because you're not that type of person you know like you're not this person so this blessing cannot come to you because it's supposed to come to you as this person and you're not this person so if it sees you as this person she's like no you're not ready i have to go back and come back when you're ready you know what i'm saying growth is just something that you have to allow yourself to go through and i found i have found that i'm saying this because i've had so many light bulb moments in my life where i'm like wow I hate that. I hate that I had to do that. But as an adult, I had to do that. Like, it's so annoying, you know? It's so annoying. Like, cleaning up after yourself. Let's just get to that. Let's just, let, let's just say the fact, okay? Doing the dishes sometimes is so annoying. I mean, there's a dishwasher. But, you know, just sometimes, sometimes you just want to exist and not do anything. But as a grown woman, you're supposed to take care of things. And that's just what it is. You're supposed to take care of yourself. You're supposed to educate yourself on feminine hygiene. Nobody's going to come around and tell you that. As a grown woman, you're supposed to take accountability for things in your life. Don't feel entitled is what I'm saying. Don't feel entitled. Work on yourself and what is supposed to find you will find and you. I just want to share, you know, a few things that I've done um, over the time to help me grow as a person. Um, I'll say the first point for me would definitely be I have allowed myself to grow. And growth, again, is something that you have to allow yourself to go through. Like you have to allow yourself to grow. You legit have to make up your mind that, okay, I'm ready to be this woman or this man that I have planned to be for my life. And I'm going to, I'm going to allow myself to go through it. And you know, there's this quote out there, um, envision this person that you want to be and start living like her. And low key, I mean, I was talking to my husband about it and he's like, it doesn't really make sense to him because like, how can I envision somebody that I would imagine I want to be somebody who owns like a million dollar house, yada, yada. And he wants me to start living like I have a million dollar house. No, I can't do that. And then I tried to explain to him that, you know, that's not the whole idea behind it. But the whole idea is do certain practices that the millionaire would be doing. You know what I'm saying? What would they do? They would wake up early. Um, they would chase their dreams. They would, you know, do bullet tasks of the day just so that they know what they're supposed to get through um they would you know you know just things that you know that is pushing you to a better version of yourself is what you're saying that's how you allow yourself to grow doing things that you know that 
in the long run you might not be seeing anything right now but you know that in the long run this is going to get me to the version of me that i want to see you won't see you you know you might not see it right now but then in the long run you look at yourself and then you're like you did that like and i keep i feel like i say you did that because at the end of the day you really did that okay you really did that so the first point to me i'll definitely say is allow yourself to grow um, another way that you can allow yourself to grow um or go through the process of growth is also by like you know having um people that you look up to i don't know how to say that like i so i would watch or follow people on social media who i find that are on like the same journey that i am on or i find some sort of inspiration from them and that's the kind of people that you want to follow if you're going to be watching people on social media follow people that you know um that are going to you know influence you in the right direction um influence you to be the best version of yourself because that's what at the end of the day that's all we're trying to be the best versions of ourselves you know um so i feel like that's another point definitely follow people who you know encourage you to be the best version of yourself and then another point for me um in terms of growth will be discipline i can't even stress this enough and i want to do a whole podcast on discipline but i just i might as well just break it down here discipline is something that will beat you in the back okay it will beat you in the back like trying to be disciplined with anything that you do um as a growing person is hard okay like especially again when you you're like grown enough and you don't have your parents literally calling you to tell you close the fridge clean up your fridge that's me talking to myself i have to clean my fridge like right now <laughs> but you know you don't have anyone telling you um do the dishes immediately when you're done cooking all of that is not there again and low key it feels good that it's not there but also low key it's as hard to decide to do it all by yourself and you know just that making up your mind insane <laughs> and sometimes i struggle sometimes i struggle because obviously i'm a mom i create content i have a job and everything i'm definitely tired sometimes and i don't want to do the dishes almost immediately but then also sometimes something tells me or my conscience will just tell me girl you better do the dishes because you know you're always at peace when you wake up in the morning and the kitchen is clean and that's just facts like when i wake up and my kitchen is a mess i'm stressed like i'm stressed right when i see that my kitchen is stressed I, i mean my kitchen is a mess i'm stressed out and i don't like it no so i have to clean the apartment every evening before i go to bed and i maybe that's very easy for some people to do but i'm still growing okay i'm still growing in that area and i'm not even ashamed to say that because just the knowing and allowing myself to go through that process is the first step you know just accepting the fact that i am a little deficient in this area you know i i'm lacking in this area i'm lacking in putting my laundry away i'm lacking in exercising i'm lacking in um you know just allowing myself to grow as a person and these are all little things that will add up to helping you grow or shaping you up um especially also as a woman because you want to be able to take care of yourself that is key when you grow up as a woman um even when you're not married this is, has nothing to do in marriage but i feel like every woman has to know how to take care of themselves even when you're you know you have your raggedy days but you still have to know how to take care of yourself okay oh so discipline discipline is key and i'm sure you guys have had discipline in so many areas in life because it definitely applies to so many areas in life um discipline is one thing that is going to help you um build habits okay discipline is one thing again that is going to help you build habits and habits building good habits or positive habits is one way that you can allow yourself to grow as a person um another way that i'll say uh, i've i've allowed myself to grow as a person is educate myself okay it's just fact educate your damn self when i say educate yourself i don't mean go to school it, it also means go to school if you can afford going to a whole institution just to feel educated um 
but educating yourself could be researching when you hear something and you don't know um you know sometimes you can obviously depending on where you find yourself but depending on where i find myself you won't find me asking what does it mean except if i'm extremely comfortable with you and i want to ask i will google i will youtube pinterest find the answer somewhere you know educate yourself research you know if you see something on your body don't just sit down and assume oh this is and this happened to me and uh, no google something google on the internet the internet has the you know the internet will give you the answer to everything youtube will give you something to do something to learn you know just research stuff and even when you don't have anything to look for or like even when you don't have anything to like research learn new things okay learn new things learn how to bake you know like just educate yourself and i don't want to like deviate from the points educating yourself but you know what i mean when i say educate yourself i'm um, just say abreast of every information that is out there not like every information but what you think is needed you need to educate yourself because again with where the world is going right now you need to um educate yourself to be able to you know network with the right people and depending on what you people want for yourself and if you're watching my channel you're going to want nothing but greatness for yourself okay <laughs> let me just say that if you're watching this channel and you're mediocre you don't have no goals you're going to have goals we're going to build goals together um at, at the end of the day we're all going to be women who have achieved something in life okay and i'm all for a woman who has something for herself i'm all for a woman who has character you know a woman when i say character i mean a woman who is able to command in the room okay <laughs> I'm all for that, you know, and um, working on confidence is hard, but I guess I will also probably do another episode talking about confidence um, and how to build your confidence because I have struggled with confidence in so many areas and sometimes I know it may come across as I look like the most confident person in the room, but sometimes I may not, um, I may not be, okay, so, um, you know, I will do a whole episode on that, but I just want to say that if you're watching this channel, you're going to grow. If you're listening to this podcast, you're going to grow, okay? You're going to educate yourself and we're all going to be women in future who can, you know, like few, women of substance. You know that thing where they say women of substance? We're going to be women of substance and I'm here for that. And then also, this is to the wives out there. If you're married, this is to you. Another thing that I have, I've done to help myself grow um, as a wife is I have worked on myself, okay? I feel like majority of the times also when women get married, we get very comfortable with the fact that, you know, I'm married, so that's it. I'm not going to take of myself people might be thinking oh that's something that only our mamas did no i mean like yeah this generation is definitely different but if you're out there and you're like ignoring yourself as a married woman and you're thinking oh i'm married you know no we didn't take care of ourselves before for the men <laughs> no let me just say that let me just say that and take it out of the way we were not taking care of ourselves before for the men <laughs> before you got married were you taking care of yourself for a man if that was the reason why then i guess you need to change your mentality because you take care of yourself for you so if you're a married woman definitely always um take care of yourself do things that will elevate you as a woman because the fact that you're married and have kids doesn't exactly mean that your life ends there okay because i know that african women and i say this to say that african women a lot of thoughts are embedded in our heads when we're growing up and um there's this like pattern of life that you need to go through and i feel like low-key marriage kids um, a good career for an African woman is for an African woman is like about it, you know, but there's so much more to achieve. You can have a good career and still have um, some passions on the side that is still giving you money and still want to achieve more. I feel like I would never be the type of person who would be okay i feel like i would always want to do more and that's just who i am and maybe that's you know if your energy is like cool calm i do one two things and i'm okay cool but i just want you to know that you know as a woman 
there's so much more that you can achieve um, as as compared to what society make us, makes us think that we can achieve, you know. There's so much room for us to grow. There's so much um, opportunities out there for women. I mean, so, you know, if you're married and you have kids, I, I just want to say that just still work on yourself. Um, don't ignore yourself and, you know, be the best version of you for you. And hubby is just going to love that, which is a plus. But again, just know that you always work on you for you. Even though you're married, even though you guys are partners, you're never really doing anything for the other person, except if it's something that you have to do for the person. But, you know, anything that we're, um, anything that's around growth is for you, you, you. And it in turn affects the relationship and makes the relationship grow as well. And I'm not here to talk about relationships, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, again, as always, my thoughts are always all over the place. Um, you guys know that my podcast is unscripted. Bed is just, I sit here, lay my freaking thoughts bare to you guys. And as per the title or as per the name of this podcast, um, I hope that it makes sense to you. It's just me trying to have an outlet or a platform where I'm able to lay everything bare without thinking so much or without feeling a certain way, a judgment-free zone. So this area right here, no judgment, okay? If you're here with any form of negative energy negative comments it's not gonna last it's not gonna work because in this area it's only positivity just trying to you know share my journey with other women things that i've learned over the years things that i've you know done for myself i know i'm not like any person like any big person in the world but again um it's just really nice to have an outlet where i'm able to share certain things with you know the women out there so um so always feel free to share your comment down below um, I'm going to ask today, what are some things that you have done to help you grow as a person? Tell me, what are some things that you've done? I think that would be really interesting to know. And I would like to learn because I'm still, like I said, I'm still on the journey of trying to grow because you never really finish learning anything. You're always still trying to learn. And I feel like we're always still, everybody's always still trying to become a better version of themselves so share with us down below people will be reading i will be reading as well um but share with us down below what are some of the things that you have done um to help yourself grow as a person you know what are some of those things that you might have done that you feel like this is something that i did that i feel like over the time i have seen so much results or so much growth in my life just from doing this one thing tell us down below let us know share with all our um audience let them know as well and i want to say thank you guys so much as always um for watching today's episode of bed with ben Hine. um i love you guys so much i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you guys in the next episode subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that hit the bell button so you're notified whenever a new video comes up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions like i said also leave what you've done to help you grow as a person and i'll see you guys in my next one <laughs> bye guys Oh,